All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's time. It's time to be a kitty. It's kitty cat maneuvering time, baby. So, we're currently on our uh, part two streaming of this here game here, Stray. And over the first two hours, it's taken a very surprising twist where it was kind of like some linear puzzle platforming sequences. And it has abruptly transitioned into kind of like this open world. Well, open world's the wrong term, but like sort of like a more open wander through an area kind of experience. And now we've just returned back to the puzzle platformy timings. But dude, this, this robot B12 is a very bizarre twist. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. It used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. The person was taken away and never seen again, but people saw hope, and not long after everyone started putting out lots of neon lights. There was nothing that Unreal 4 could do but render that shit. It was a fun way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Is this not the way to go? Pretty nice. Alright. Probably up, we can find a way to. Oh, I bet if I jump again, it swings. That's a nice puzzle. I like that one. See, like, things like this are great. Look at the Zerk infestation below. The little Zerklings. Alright, so we're trying to get to top of this building, huh? So I see that we're going to need to get on top of that, so that's fine. Hack door. <laughs> See, I get that this was the puzzle, but it also feels like there's a high probability of just being able to run from A to B, huh? Oh, I see a stuff over here. All right. Go, little cat. Go. All right, sweet. Cutest apocalypse. I know, right? Alright, jumping across. Joint. Do, do, do. Sometimes we go back this way, huh? Huh? Nothing but sliming. Alright. Puzzles are human robot problems. Cat can just ignore them. I know, I love it. I love it so much. The place is turning into Kaled, right? <laughs> Dude, it's so funny to think this game came out just a few months after uh, Elden Ring. And I really want to know how often that happens. Where someone looks at a game and they go, Oh, fuck, they're doing the same shit we are. Oh, God, I remember... I want to remember where this article was. I, I read it like 10 years ago where someone was pointing out this trend of like a pile of two to five games that were released all within a few months of each other that were all the same seemingly unique idea 
And I remember two of them. There was a game called Infamous and a game called Prototype. And they were both games where you play as a superhero. But not like a Marvel DC superhero, like a custom-made one. You under in, like, Bugs Life and Ants? Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how far apart was the release of Bugs Life and Ant? <laughs> Again, guys, the prototype was basically Spider-Man. If Spider-Man was really into a bit of the old ultra-violence... Bing bongs only. What do you know? Well, 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 there isn't some platforms. Oh, fucking run! Shit, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. These are not the buttons I pressed. These are not the buttons I'm looking for. Say this prototype is my all-time favorite game and the reason why I got into game programming weeks away from graduation. Man, fuck yeah. Gosh, yeah, there, there was all these games that were coming out at the same time. Was that the puzzle? All right, I did the puzzle. Great. Ugh. Alright, so where are we trying to get to? Somewhere over there? Oh, you're shitting me. So I do this. And then I run like this. Got it. All right, I know what to do here. All right. Day nine, I'm right here. I live in beautiful Los Angeles, right by. Oh fuck! Uh, here's the run button. Right by downtown. See, these little sequences are really fun. game that we played recently that also had this like sickly area with like 
particulate matter just hanging in the air. Gee, I wonder what this thing does. Hmm, Sawman85, gifting 10 on this Beauty Tuesday. X. Who's excited for tomorrow, where I'm going to make a town for you in RimWorld? I'm really excited. Oh, shit. Dude, I hit it so fast. My fucking thumb hurts. so far. Uh, it started as a 10 out of 10, and then I got really sort of thrown off by the um, sort of weird let's actually talk to a bunch of robots and kind of fill us in on what their experiences are like and this sort of thing. So yeah, like, like, that felt extraordinarily out of place. And I think that that's the one thing that I, I'm having a little bit of a tough time connecting to. And then when it went back to, hey, accomplish a task, and you're a cat, it started to feel nice again. But again, that, like, one of the things that excited me was that I was a cat and I wanted to be a cat. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Love that. Yeah, I was really excited by the fact that I got to be a cat. I love the science fiction setting. I think it's terrific. I think it's a really interesting juxtaposition. Because, you know, I, I, I think that if you say, okay, you're a cat, what are your mechanics? Well, there's only so much that a cat can do, so by dumping the cat into a, um, you know, a cyberpunk-style environment, you can have all the various contraptions that are operating be the mechanics for the cat. But th this introduction of B12 and, like, looking at codes and punching in codes and all that, the best way I could describe it is if a game said, you are a dragon and you start off and you are slashing things with your claws, you're flying and flapping and using various gliding mechanics, you can breathe fire, and then you encounter trees and stone, you punch them in order to make a hatchet so you can chop wood more easily in order to build a house. You'd go, I recognize that it is giving me some survival crafting mechanics, but aren't I a dragon? Aren't I supposed to be just being all dragon-like? Aren't I a dragony boy? You know what I mean? I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Let me know if this fixes it, ghosty. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect them from the outside, but it came at a cost nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. 
So I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others are not. But I'm certain now this is my purpose, so I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo now that we've connected the transmitter. We should be able to get help. Yeah, like, like, like this, it, it's not that the mechanics are bad, it's that it's discordant. Like, this is really lovely, that it's maneuvering me over a lot of the platforming sequences I just did, which is cool. part two. Oh, am I back in fucking Momos? Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar. Like... That's what I mean about discordance. Coffee Beans says, uh, beyond just the mechanics, it seems like there's no, as far as now, story arc for the cat character. But instead, we're following the arc of B12. It feels like the cat is just a vehicle for the robot's journey. Yeah, it's... Because we were shown that we have a little cat tribe. We love our little cat buddies and they slip away. Now where's the bar? I think it's on the first bar. Hey, little furball. Here, I managed to get a signal. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this thing working. Almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out. Wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo? Psh. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. Psh. We're safe. Psh. We found a way up. Psh. Hello? You still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, desserts psh, everywhere. Psh, 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 psh. Sewers? How? Hello? <laughs> Can't believe it. It's Walt Zars alive. You know, the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltazar made it, there must be a way. Da -da -da. Never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end up well. Anyways, I warn you, your business is none of my business. Alright, Seamus. This fishing hat. <sighs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device, never came back. Isn't this supposed to be a game about being a cat? <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I've been watching the boys and they're like, what if there's a weapon? What if there's a weapon that we can find? 
I mean, like, I literally did not know that this is what my cats were doing all day. It's so weird. Again, imagine if the game said, you're a dinosaur. You get to play as a velociraptor. You go, oh really, what do you do? And the answer is, you help a group of robots figure out how to build a weapon to overcome an infestation of a locust-like creature called a zerk. What? It's not that I think that everything that's happening with these robots is, or is uninteresting. It's just that that's weird. Yeah, Shingro says, this is a poker game, seen through the eyes of a Velociraptor. Yeah, no, imagine if you were Velociraptor, and, and it just, like, cuts to a, to your, like, long Velociraptor head, and you're, like, holding up your whole cards to your eyes that point out, like, fucking that. And, and then and the dialogue says, do you want to fold, or do you want to go all in? And, and your Velociraptor is, like, looking there with his little tiny fucking claws like this. It's not that I think poker's a bad game. I just don't understand why it made me a velociraptor. You know what I mean? Alright, next. Seamus has never been the same since. <laughs> Look at the cat. The cat's just like... What the fuck are they talking about? Don't listen, Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Alright, let's go snoop. Let's fucking break into this shit, man. Let's go. Meow. Where's his apartment? I'm following you. Sorry, I had a thick burrito for lunch. Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation's pretty tough on Seamus. He's a... He gets piss robot drunk every day after his father died in the sewers to the Zerks. Anyways, you're a cat. Here's some milk. Go break into the fucking apartment. You got it, man. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. It won't help me, but you! I think I have an idea. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. <laughs> Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm gonna go back to the bar just to really wash another one down and reestablish communication with the others. Yeah, <laughs> dad went out for milk and never came back. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I told you, get me to the story suicide mission, leave me be. But I brought you the doc's notebook. What's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh, wow, I never knew! <laughs> the secret room here in our flat! But where? Alright. Let's just make a fucking mess. Oh! Time will tell. So I bet there's a clock that we're gonna need to look at the timer for. Just fucking wrecking this guy's apartment. Dude, I'm telling you, I know. Alright, so the code is... 
Two, three, one, one. Or excuse me, two, five, one, one, I don't know why. All right. Bet you didn't know your dad very well, did you, Seamus? <laughs> My favorite part of the cat game is where the depressed robo-drunk confronted his feelings about how his robo-father abandoned him, passing through the sewers, allegedly dying to Zerks, but he still might be alive somewhere up above in Midtown. <laughs> Fucking... This is a cat's life, man. Here we go. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be a Zerk weapon. <laughs> Baba was always so secretive about his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. I think I actually know how to deliver the dialogue in this game better now. I think I understand how to deliver it. Oh, let me translate this newspaper using my robot. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal! Why anything interesting here? Defluxer blueprint. Uh, light based handgun. <laughs> In America, we have cyberpunk cat games where after you finally get the ability to talk to other robots, the next mechanic is gun. Alright, low priority. Visual appearance size, a decibel emitted, high priority. That's in real condition. Objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. I hope I get a gun. I just knock some shit over here. Meow. What is this? Cute sounds were never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light! in here oh what is this broken tracker bro Seamus you're not gonna believe this find anything interesting yeah oh yeah oh yeah I actually have this broken tracker that as a cat I thought was an unusual find in your father's secret laboratory where he was developing weapons I'm a cat by the way wait I remember that that's his tracker Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. He was what was known as a helicopter robo-parent. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. What? Does it, does that work that way? Because, like, I didn't, I didn't see Tenet. I assume that I would have understood it on the first of viewing, because I'm like a high IQ viewer. Like, primary I only saw once, and I didn't need to watch it again. Uh, so, so, I can't believe my papa still might be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. This is the game. Deep fried Swedish fish, I believe they just call it a drone parent. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. 
All right, here I go. Meow. Oh, Jesus, excuse me. Get down from here. B12, what do we do? Pretty bad shape. Maybe the bartender knows how to fix it. Okay, very well. Maybe he does. Hey, Jacob. What a beautiful object and rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little well. You'll see. His name is Elliot. He's a robot. His office is just left out here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Dufer bar? Is it perhaps Dufer bar? All right. Grandma clothing, Elliot programming. Oh, shit, it's grandma's. Who are you, dude? So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Looks like a repairman. Maybe not. Okay. Did I just miss this shit, dude? Bro. Wait, what? You want something? Grandma made these clothes pretty stylish now. Oh my god, did I not understand what he said? Hell yeah, programming. Oh. Is he above? The fuck are you? Whoa! Well, that's awesome. I do love knitting. I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. Bring me some electric cable. I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. The guy, he literally told me where to go. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I hate robots. I don't trust them. Okay, bro. Interested for some drink? Yeah, no, I did read it right. Where, where the fuck are the signs all over the door, dude? Oh! Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Hello. 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 You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Meow, meow, meow. Yes? Can I help you? 
Hey, I'm a cat, and I found this broken tracker in a robot's hidden father weapon room. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize the model, it's a Tohima. Brr, 2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it. But when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need a need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Okay. So We need to get some detergent so we can get the cable to bring it to grandma who can make us a poncho and we can take the poncho and we can bring it to this guy. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Donk. See, look at this. Alright. So, we need... We need to get into the Super Spirit store. Somehow. Let me in, 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 let me in. Let me, in. Let me actually just show you the ordering of things. Oh, so we need to knock one off. Okay, I understand the puzzle. So let me let me let me show you the puzzle. Let me show you the puzzle. There's no way you would have ever been able to figure this out, but not for me. See this lady. I do love knitting. I need to knit things. If you bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. And then oh, uh, and oh, and see, look, there's the electric cable. See, look, I want the electric cable. I'll only give it to you for some detergent. Super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. It's the only thing that's actually not specified as a currency. But you see, there's super spirit right there. Su super spirit. And so, I'm supposed to look at that and be like, Oh shit, I need to get in there. And then this guy's like, I swear to God, if any more paint drops on here, I will literally rip off my eyes. And I, as a cat, I'm supposed to be like, Oh fuck, I want everyone to be in pain all the time. This is perfect. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So, I climb all the way up here with my little cat booty. Here, here. cat parkour. Alright, and then we're... Oh. Oh, I missed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck, shit. You made such a mess. And I'm like... <sighs> meow. <laughs> All right. Come on down. All right. Excuse me. There's your detergent. Do -do 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 -do. Is that it? Is this? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me that. Back pain to the shot, man. Fuck yeah. Boom. All right, we're doing it.
Here you go, electric cable. Oh shit, here we go. Fuck yeah. Thank you, my dear. I'll get back to work right away. Dude, I mean, this is this is so easy. This game is like an absolute joke. Pancho! There you go, it'll suit you, etc. Excuse me. Let's go. Nestor time. Where are you? I'm just so shaky. Don't worry, it's fine, but I can't work, but I'm just so cold. What about a poncho? Where'd you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. It looks like I can get the transceiver working and you can now speak to Midtown. Oh, this is look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Hell yeah, let me take a look. Just gotta give an update and one more thing. Voila! Let's go. There you go. Good luck finding where the fuck you want to find. All right, I'm out of here, man. Going back down, because now I need to go find Momo. Oh, wait, shit, fuck. Time to go out the windows. You just tape it? Yeah, you can't tape with shaky hands, that's for sure. Jump. Jump. What up, Momo? I'm really struggling. Did you find anything? Yep, look at this. Check it out. Is it one of the new game consoles? What the fuck? Wait, no, no, no. Didn't, didn't you want the transceiver? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That's right. We're helping Seamus track down his papa. Sorry, I... Seamus lives over here. Oh. Oh. Did you manage to fix that tracker? You're not gonna fucking believe this. You did? You fixed it? Fuck yeah, cat. Give it over. Dad? Is it not that open vent we went through? We got a ping! Uh, the, the, um, board was pushed back over it again. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the track and we find Papa. Looks like it's glidable from that side. Rip humans. Rip, rest in peace humans, wow. <laughs> Rip and pepperonis humans. <laughs> My suspension of disbelief just disappeared. It's gone. It's not suspended anymore. I don't believe that robots would have ever written rip. Oh my god, humans dead? Rip. Rip. You know what I mean? Fucking press F to pay respect to humans, man. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, all the humans are dead. Rip. Rip. Humans were the first residents to rip in pepperonis. Now it seems that they're all dead arena. They got Tyrannosaurus wrecked. Shrek, the sequel to Wrecked. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what that feels like. I'm sorry, I don't want to break the mood. Let's return back to being a cat that gets shit done. I think my dad is garbage.
fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, like, what am I doing? What? Is that not Seamus? Did I lose track of fucking Seamus? No, oh, there he is. Let's go. Hey, Sheriff. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Seamus is gonna die. Dad and he are gonna cry. <laughs> uh, fuck. Now that I've spent a little bit more time, and I think I'm understanding the game is like, here's some sequencing. Now you stop and you're sort of in a... in town for a little bit. Then you do some more little challenging stuff, and then you stop and you're in town for a little bit. It's starting to feel a little bit more natural. When, it, when first it was just like, hey, welcome to town, why don't you meet some robots? You can speak English now. Fucking totally... Oh, look at all these Zerk eggs! Uh, they're gonna eat us, I can't do this. Oh. I'm not as fast as you, the Zerks will get me for sure, and you have a circle button. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Ow, why does my eyeball feel so painful? Outsider badge. Gain new item. <laughs> it's just a big unhappy face. Here, take this badge. My dad will recognize it. It's two dots and an unhappy frown. He'll know it's from me. <laughs> End. I'm sorry, I can't go any further. I'm I really suck. But you know, you risk your life. Good luck. I mean that sounds exactly like a manager, doesn't? How the fuck do you expect me to do this by myself in one week? I want to let you know, we trust you to get it done in one week by yourself. Spooky. We're going to remember a memory. Look at how huge the wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and those in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Ugh. Dead end. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm just gonna run in a straight line. 
And I can press the O button faster than most. Oh, this is fucking sweet. Oh! I didn't see it. Oh, like this. Fuck. I'm so sick. Swing it back like this. Yeah. The face glimpses of my god, Sean, you one shot this area. Another streamer I watched died about 24 times here. How did you do that? Honestly, every time you press the O button, it ejects one of the little zerks from you. So if you press it really, really fast. Oh shit, can I steer this fucking thing? No, not at all. I'm just I'm just letting it happen. Get up! Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be really nearby. We must be very close. My leg hurts. Just lick that. Are we limping? Yeah. Getting lay on the feet. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not a real cat. All right, let's go here. Let's go over to here. Let's uh, get up here. Let's go across here. Let's jump up there. Let's... Around this way, there is nothing. Oh. Oh, sweet. Scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, there's not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. We get to the outside. We found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books. I think that's what the scientist would have wanted, but first we should get to the Dwokta. Armory unlocked. Er. There's that damn bicycle again. Ugh. 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 Zerk o'clock, man. I'm actually going to go this way. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty terrific. I might be supposed to be going here because of this red cable here. I thought I was exploring the uh, sort of leaf node first, and that this this place here was where I was supposed to go, but I think I'm backwards.
Shove the energy drink in there. It's an electric generator. It seems to require some other part to function. But what? What could it be? Just wandering around. Enjoying the ambiance as a cat. See, th these environmental areas are fucking terrific. They're just amazing. Good. Alright. Get in there. What? Oh, they're so cute. I hate them so much. I hope they die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Joint. Dude, the, just the number of papers in this game that is like plastered on the walls, the amount of textures is just ridiculous. There's so many. What is this? Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Ooh, ooh. The food coma's trying to set in. I'm not gonna let it. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. The two dots, the unhappy face. It's fully recognizable. That's impossible to pirate. How do you define it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my dorsiflexor, but it didn't go as planned. Wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. Can I look around if, if you want? I have no idea at all what I'm doing. Nice keyboard. Yep. Oh, what's this? Oh. Be careful with that dorsiflexor. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 giga. Not gigawatts. Gigawatts. <laughs> it needs 1.21 gigawatts. To work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the Zerk surrounds, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator to replace the fuse, I should be able to get my dorsiflexor all flexed on up. Follow me, I'll show you what to do. I think everyone needs to play this game. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Just literally turn it on. Once you fix the generator, you should be able to charge and kickstart the dorsiflexor. All this cable, good luck. Having a whole button dedicated to meowing is correct. B 
fuse. Foom. Amazing you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the dorsiflexor is? It's definitely your way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this flexor on your drone. Gordon Freeman. It worked. The dorsiflexor is now installed on your fancy drone here. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, a gauge will deplete and you might need to wait for it to replenish. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home to my son. Something we wish all of our dads would do. Taking all those Zerks. There's a gauge. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspect, there's a gauge. Let it cool for a bit when that happens and hope we can fucking get through here. If it doesn't work out, there's Snake. If you don't successfully eliminate the Zerks using the action button, just reload at the last save and try again. All right. Switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. I have a second fuse. Take him out. Is the game gotten infinitely more fun after realizing the game is probably not uh, taken seriously? Is that what the voice acting is? I, I mean, I'm just kind of being goofy because I'm enjoying being goofy. What do I actually think about the game? Oh, I see. Okay. Time for an episode of Sean's Thoughts with Sean. Also, uh, just appreciate the fact that this is where we came from. There's where we slid down. We ran this way in order to get in here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice touch. Um, okay, it's time It's time for another episode of Fuck Does Sean Thing? Starring me, Sean, sharing what I think using my mouth. So, 
what I'm first going to do is I'm going to think aloud for a little bit before I actually share any evaluations. Um, w one of the things that I think is most utterly critical with a game, with a story, with anything, is to first introduce what the tone of your thing is, like, as quickly as possible. Like, th th there's a lot of discussion about a lot of the mechanical stuff. Like, in storytelling, a really common thing is, early in your book, you have to clearly identify the story question. The story question being something like, uh, you know, someone's been murdered. Who done it? That's the question that this book is going to answer. Someone seems to be turning all the children into werewolves. Who's doing that and how do we stop them? These are clearly the story questions. Right, so things like this are very mechanical, and sometimes you will have the your first chapter be about one thing, and then the story question will come right at the end of chapter one. Ah, an interesting sort of twist, and all this sort of stuff. And if you don't have that, if it's like once upon a time there was a man named Jerry, and he went to work one day, and his boss said, hey, I really need you to stay an hour later today. And John goes, I don't remember the name of our character. What was his name? His name's Alan now. Alan, I need you to stay an hour later. Alan stayed an hour later, he got his work done, he went home. He turned on the TV, and the news said, there might be a shortage of pasta. And Alan said, that's okay, I don't eat pasta, and he goes to bed. At no point are you going... Okay, I want to hear more. Like, there's nothing that makes you go... But if... It suddenly went... There's going to be a pasta shortage. And Alan went, but I literally am medically incapable of eating anything except for pasta. Well, then there's very clearly a question. How is Alan going to get out of this pasta predicament? Right? Like, why am I spending so long about story questions? Because that's one example of many things that I feel like need to exist at the start of a, a creative work. The kind of get your viewer, your reader, your consumer on board. Things like, what is the story question? Or something like, what is the setting? Do I understand the gist of the setting to allow me to have a proper set of expectations of what is available and not available to my characters and stuff like this? And one that I, I heard a lecture about this maybe four or five years ago, that something that is very easy to mess up is to have a really clear question and setting and a good characterization and a good motivation and blah, 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 blah. Great mechanics if we're talking in the game space. But the tone is not really robustly and clearly established at the start of your work. And an example of this is a movie that's really serious for 20 minutes and then suddenly starts to get goofy. And there are movies that have a mix of serious and goofy. Marvel movies are a really good example of this. But you'll often notice that very early on in these movies, they tend to quickly establish at least some modicum of humor or goofiness or B-moviness, so that way they can blend them later on and it works. What they don't do is have seriousness for the first 60 minutes, and then a blend of seriousness and goofiness for the end. Okay, Wizard says DC movies too, but unintentionally. <laughs> and I feel like a, a, an example of tone in a game is, uh, maybe I shouldn't say an example of tone, but an example of a kind of thing that is important to frame to someone early on when they're playing a game, is that there's so many different genres and slices of style of game that exist what should your player's expectations be? So, for instance, is this going to be a RPG that really is just about seeing your numbers grow? Combat's not really supposed to be hard. It's just supposed to be seeing the numbers grow. Or is it an RPG that's made by FromSoft, where you're supposed to use one weapon for 30 hours until you've mastered it, and then go, God, I died so many times. Best game ever. You know... Um, and, and, or is it an RPG that's a little bit more like a roguelike, where you're supposed to really carefully manage your growing set of resources, die, and then restart? If this game, for instance, if I died, and I started back at the very beginning of the game, I want to stress that it's false that I would be confused as to what was happening, 
the what would be completely clear. Oh, I died and I appear to have spawned at the start of the game. But there would be some sort of why that would feel unresolved in my brain. Why the fuck do the developers do that? What? So, I gave this whole long spiel to kind of frame what I'm about to say. This whole long spiel is about if you, if you want someone to get into your story or game or book or whatever, I feel like there's, there's kind of like a big checklist of stuff you need to do real quick or as your reader or player or viewer progresses in your thing, they're going to hit a hitch where they go, whoa, why is this here? And that describes a little bit of the feeling that I've had with this game. It begins, there's no introduction. I'm just a cat. There's no, welcome to so-and-so world. You play as Harriet the kitten. It doesn't do any narration. It doesn't have any menus, which is an extremely rare thing in games. To just phew, drop you into the game. Then... There are some cats, which is a very environmental way to draw me along. These other cats start to move ahead, and they start to wander, and I'm learning some of the very basic mechanics of the game. But it, it, it's very exploratory, and it's very beautiful. And it kind of has this... immersion style, where it's environmental storytelling through and through and through and through. And I fall down this pit. Oh no, I lost my tribe. Now think about all the things I just said. What's the story question that I think that this game is about? How do I get back to my cat buddies? Right? That's what I thought it was. What kind of game is this? This appears to be a puzzle platformer. Where I'm trying to figure out how to move through a city. And it has an incredible amount of mystery and obfuscation. There are signs and mysterious... Um, monitors that have a cat symbol with arrows, right? So it's obfuscation and mystique and environmental storytelling and puzzles. And it feels like it's trying to answer the question, how do I get back to my buddies? Now, often stories have a question and they're sort of like a sub-question collection that exists throughout the course of the story. So a simple one might be, who solved the murder? And it turns out our detective has to lie and cheat and steal in order to get the answers to that. So you might have a question like, wow. Okay, so it turns out that mob boss has one clue, but will only give the clue if our hero does something unethical. So now you have a sub-question. Will they do the unethical thing in order to get the clue to solve the murder? Great. And so very commonly I was expecting, oh, okay, well, we were presented with this clear question. How do I get back to my cat tribe? Oh. Maybe I need to solve some other thing going on. Maybe I need to do some things to help w or, or to manipulate some objects in this city. And maybe I'll encounter some characters and unveil some mystery in the city that then will let me get out of here and get back to my cat tribe. You know, something like this. So again, I, I want to I state that like the first 30 minutes experience of me playing this game was, oh, we're going to get back to our cat friends. Lots of mystery and obfuscation. Lots of exploration, lots of puzzliness, and very little dialogue. And then all of a sudden, B12 comes up, and it's like, hey, we actually have an, an inventory management game, and we're actually going to begin trying to soak up some memories. And actually, the story is suddenly about B12 trying to figure out what's going on with his scientist doctor buddy. And also, why don't you wander around town and kind of meet some people and converse with them? And... uh this now feels a little bit more like a walking simulator slash uh, point-and-click adventure game. And it has a little bit of slapstick and a little bit of goofiness. You know, the whole idea of robots in a bar is absurd. It's, and not in a, oh, that's not an okay thing to do, that shouldn't exist, that's bad writing. It's not. The characters, the portrayal of them, the problems that B12 is facing, all these things feel in isolation fine. But it's really discordant with that first 30 minutes. And I think that that's the thing that I am struggling most to overcome because let's, let's flip this. All right. Imagine the game starts you in a town. You're a cat. Hey, 
like it shows a cutscene. Imagine it shows a cutscene of the Catson falling. And the cutscene lasts like a minute and a half. First gameplay is you and the town meeting people. All right, we need you to go do this task. You do some platforming, jumping, puzzling, come back. All right, you're back in town again. There's a style of game that does this all the time. JRPGs. The town is where the story happens. You leave and that's where the gameplay happens. Then you're back to the town where the story happens. Then you leave and this is where the game happens. Lots of games do this. In Diablo, you start in the town and you learn what's going on in the world. Then you go to the dungeons where there's the gameplay and then you fucking come back. There's lots of games where there's runs and you're in the safe hub in the safe town where the story happens. And you leave and then you do shooting and loot collecting and then you come back. Um, so I, I think that as time is going on, I'm feeling like... I'm starting to see what's going on. Bertrand says, I think of this in comparison with Fallout 3. The game opens in a happy little vault. You learn to walk, talk to people, use items, open doors, then suddenly you're thrust into the post-apocalyptic wasteland and you're literally saving humanity. Seems to be the same thing happening with the cat. Yeah, okay, so, so I want to zoom in on that. If anyone purchases a game called Fallout, even if you don't know about the first Fallout games, but it's called Fallout, and all the advertisement calls it, a post-apocalyptic role-playing game. There is a set of expectations of what the gameplay is going to be like. And if we look at the how the mechanisms work in Fallout 3, you start and you're having conversations with people, you're navigating and doing things, and when you go into the post-apocalyptic wasteland, you also are talking to people in the same way, you're using the same verbs. It's just that the setting has changed to <laughs> understate it quite a bit. Whereas if, if instead, here's maybe a, a, a cleaner example. Let's imagine that the way Fallout opened is that you were in a cabin doing survival crafting, building things, trying to make mechanisms to support your cabin. And then there's an alarm that a nuclear bomb is going to go off. You have to go into your underground vault and then you pop out. And the game is no longer about survival crafting. It's suddenly a post-apocalyptic role-playing game. It's not that a survival crafting game with automation is bad. And it's not that a post-apocalyptic role-playing game is bad. It's that when they plug into each other like this, there's something that makes me go, okay, okay, so I thought it was this, but I guess it's I guess it's not. But is it going back to that? It is a movie that begins with a 20-minute action sequence that has no more action for the rest of the game, and it's a romantic comedy. Or excuse me, no more action for the rest of the movie, it's a romantic comedy. So, like, right now, for instance, I'm a little bit in the puzzly, platformery kind of kind of situation. All right, so what, what, what's the thing again? This? And I actually really, really love this. I mean, the environment is done beautifully. Oh, shit. Ah, I got camera souls to There's other things like this where tonally, like this music is very serious. It's very atmospheric. The entire world is very serious and very atmospheric. You know, 
minor things. Oh, yeah, I need to run. My hop a bit. Like, the, the, the presentation is also very serious. If you don't kill off these things, they will oops, devour all the metal. And it has, like, a few that was close. Let's go back home. Like, like most of this game presents very um, seriously. And I'm, I'm being a little goofy about it all. But then there's, again, some some just kind of silly, fun, absurd things. Like, look at the design of these robots, where they have, like, monitors for heads. Like Prince Robot from Saga. <laughs> so I want to state very bluntly again that I am not saying I think that this game is bad, and what I'm saying is the explanation for why I find it bad. I'm not doing that at all. I, I have felt weird. And felt like I've had some tracking difficulties with just what's happening. You see what I mean? Like, that whole thing. Like, this is a, a, a son that thought his father was dead and the father was hugging him. And, like, makes a little heart for a face. It's, it's like, a, it's like mostly presented seriously and with sincerity. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for saving the dock, little friend. It's great to see the stream. is no longer alone. Now we know we can go back and fight against the Zarks. Momo's been waiting for you by the sewers. Momo by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. The sewers are over here. Isn't this the sewers? What? Where are the sewers? Where are the sewers? Where are the sewers? Where are the sewers? Where are you at, Momo? Or even the things like we had to like knock paint over. By the way, see this? You can just clip right through it. Is this damn thing? Where's Momo? Come here, Momo. I literally thought this was the entrance to the sewers. Also, there's small things, like, I've returned back to this area several times. And I'm starting to say, oh, so I guess this area is not a single location that I solve one puzzle in and then leave forever. This might actually be, like, a main hub world. Oh, is this the sewer entrance? Ben Zoom, I was waiting for you on his boat. Join him, but have you done everything you wanted to in here? There's a closed door behind you. Only Zerk's coming through. All right. Guess I'm done with this. Yeah, I mean, overall, for instance, I think the presentation, like visually and aesthetically, I, I, I'd give it like an A plus. I think it's incredible. Can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, we can go find Zabaltazar. Let's go. So we found Doc. We found Zabaltazar. We're going to find another one. 3X structure. Eh? 
I'm probably going to pause, refill some water, and shoot on back. Hey, King of Limbs. Is just tuning in, enjoying it so far? I, I, I think... I think I would mark it very highly. I think. But he here's my hesitation. Here's my hesitation. If someone said, this game is supposed to be incredibly challenging, and then another game says, this game is supposed to have an amazing story. Well, you know, if I played a challenging game and I find it actually really easy, and the story was pretty good. Or if there's a game that claims it's supposed to be all about the great story, and I don't care that much for the story, but like the combat and the challenge is really amazing. It, it, it becomes a little harder to evaluate. You know what I mean? Like, when I play Dark Souls and someone's like, it's really challenging. Literally, the first thing I experience in the game is that it's fucking challenging. And it's clear and it's consistent and it does that the entire game. I thought the first 30 to 45 minutes were a 10 out of 10. And there was such a strong tonal shift. I felt like I began a completely new game. Um... And if I had, if I was like, let's say my wife started the game and I sat down right when she got B12. Um, I, I might have a different evaluation. But it, again, my evalu evaluation right now is that I, I'm unsure where the game is going. And let me, let, let me give a really ham-fisted example. This is not what the game is doing, but this is like an example. Again, if you started off as a, for 30 minutes, you played an amazing survival crafting experience, and then suddenly it was a third-person RPG. Someone might ask you, 30 minutes in, so what do you think of the game? And your reaction is, well, what if it switches to a first-person tactical shooter? <laughs> or is it going to go back to the survival crafting, or is it going to keep doing this? That's how I feel right now. And I'm pretty sure I have a sense of what the game is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this more adventure thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water. Ghostwalker88 uh, 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 uh. says, I have to ask, how much do you think knowing and being able to see these aspects of game design affect your reaction or willingness to engage with such problematic designs? That's the thing, is that I... I I don't know yet if this is a problem. Because you know what? He, like, okay, let's get basic as fuck. So fucking basic. Which I feel like is the... Um, if we think of our average Redditor that we like to make fun of, I use Reddit, but I don't consider myself a Redditor. Maybe you do, and you're lovely. Okay. But there's the kind that we like to make fun of that goes, 
Well, okay, from a media studies perspective, do we think that the vector of the game is actually discordant with its marketing campaign in the show? What's the budget that's needed to fix this? You know, these kind of like questions that live so much in abstraction. They don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. It's just like an academic, I want to leave a comment kind of thing. Let's talk basic baby mode for a moment. I absolutely am dying to keep playing the game. And that overrides everything that I say. Nothing in this game has made me go, I want to put it down. And I mean, that's, that's what you, that's what you need to do. If you're writing a book and someone reads 20 pages and they put the book down, that's the failure case. If someone sits down with this, like the number of people that I know that like, for instance, picked up a Harry Potter book, read it for 12 hours without moving and went, yeah, it was pretty bad. I'm like, isn't this the sixth one of these that you have read in one sitting without moving? So, you know, I might put a game down because it's just not my kind of game. I might put a game down because, you know, I suddenly realize that it's, oh, it's an automation game and I've had a long week and I don't want to have to solve any more frickin' problems. Yeah, it, it might be it's not my kind of, uh, of game, or I'm not in the mood for this style of game on that particular day. Or it might be that the game is just plain old not good, but if we're in the situation that I'm in here, where I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see where this game fucking goes. It, it has to be at the very least succeeding in some really important way. Oh, fuck. Oh, the races. Hey, I'm doing well. Taking a break from playing Stray to watch Sean play Stray. far out of the slum it's with you here. I'm not even scared. Very much so feels like an homage to Half-Life 2's on a raft sequence. And what the fuck are you making noise for, dude? See, I still think the presentation of this game is just 10 out of 10. Give me Metro vibes. Ah, these, these might have given me Metro vibes, but I'm never fucking playing those scary looking games fucking ever, Mr. Grayscreen. Jesus, those games look scary. Mamma mia. Jeezy Louise. Really enjoying this music. Oh yeah, this is some good, some good stuff. Uh, if you like this soundtrack, you may enjoy the album "Birth of a New Day" by Twenty Eight Fourteen. I don't remember Metro having any scary moments. Doesn't it take place in the dark with weird, scary zombie babies? Hi, Momo. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually.
Oh, he's literally gonna open it manually. Someone uh, in chat write the album. Mapa 2814, 2814. Album name is Birth of a New Day. I can't help you go on with... Won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabaltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave! Leave him to die. Leave him to die. Holy shit. Holy fuck. All right. All right, I want you to lay down a suppressing fire and retreat in a two-by-two two formation. Gosh, what what is this? What is this aesthetic from? Is this actually from Control? Wait. Wait, can I? No. Oh. Upside down. That's what it was. That's what it is. That that's what it is. I I haven't even seen the latest um season. I didn't finish season 3. There's a little bit that there's some campy moments in there. Yeah, there was some, uh, like, uh, the romance between Hopper and Winona in season three. What are my buttons? Yeah, season one and season two are two of my favorite episodes of Jesus fucking Christ! Two of my favorite episodes of TV ever. Nope, not going in there. Deep Fried Swedish Fish is honestly season one lost me when baseball bats did what guns couldn't with the Demi Gorgon. Yeah, I guess that checks out. Your suspension of disbelief is far more easily pierced than my suspension of disbelief. My suspension of disbelief is nigh indestructible. Oh, fuck. Control Z, go back. Go back, you fucking cat, you cat ass. Nice. I'm pretty sure there's secrets. Season one of Stranger Things is fucking incredible. My suspension of disbelief is so strong that I watch fucking Korean dramas, okay? No, don't go down, go up. Oh, remember. Craig says, my suspension of disbelief is so strong that I consider Stray to be a Korean drama. <laughs> the sewer system. Yes, I remember now, clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain only the wealthy during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Um, so, here, okay, I want to I wanna note what the last 90 or so minutes has been. 
I did the little sequence where I res rescued Doc, came back, then we did a little raft sequence where he opened a door, and now I'm going through a little bit of solo cat sequence. And this is kind of what I anticipated the game was going to be like. And I am very, very pleased. But it felt like what it did is it went full into atmospheric puzzle platform mystique, and then swung hard into here's a hub world where you're no longer in danger under threat. You're solving kind of silly, funny puzzles like annoying someone by dropping paints. So they'll open it up so that way you can get detergent that you can trade for a rope that can get turned into a poncho so a robot can fix a transceiver, right? Like that, do this sort of thing. And now we're back into this sort of sequencing. And I expect that because it's introduced to everyone, now it'll be, here's a sequence. It affects one of the characters. Then you do another sequence. It affects another one of the characters. And there's another sequence. And there's another character. <coughs> Meow. Meow. <coughs> and again, the presentation's 10 out of 10. Now, because I've played Elden Ring, I know that there's probably some beetles in there. Wait, when do these pop? Fuck you guys! Oh. Uh. Run, you fuck! Uh. Uh. Run, you fucking asshole! Jump! Jump, you fuck! Alright, nice. I actually think it's correct to just sit here and wait. Fuck. Alright. So, sneaking is not the way. Oh, sneaking is the way, dude. Run! Run from fucking everything! Jump! Jump, you fucking cat! Ah! Ah! Oh, that's easy. That's trivial. Yeah, there we go. Got him! Very good. It's a baby cane for baby cats. 
Very good. All right, yeah, oh, that's it. So they're not quietude, they're proximity Aggie babies. Look how dark it is. Any memories here? I love how this aesthetic looks. <laughs> this looks exactly the way that the city looked in the hit 1993 video game movie, Super Mario Brothers. Now, y'all might not have known about Super Mario Brothers, but in that 1993 movie, Mario and Luigi, who are plumbers in, I think, New York City, they get sucked into an alternate dimension on an alternate Earth where all the resources have been consumed and where humans evolved not from primates, but from lizards. Holy fucking shit! Not from primates, but from lizards. That's where you wind up seeing the Koopas from which were huge, enormous, like seven foot tall henchmen type wearing trench coats. With tiny, tiny lizard heads. Dennis Hopper played King Koopa. Fucking ridiculous movie. And so in it, there was, oh. Well, good news for anyone seeking enlightenment. We found eyes on the inside. Yeah, and so there is actually a mysterious, disgusting fungus that is constantly growing all over the inside of the city in the Super Mario Brothers movie. I mean, that Mario Brothers movie is wild. By the way, this is exactly what it feels like to have you all tuning in and watching me stream today. Those little eyes. I'm going in. No, I'm not. Game won't let me. Bertrand says, thanks for streaming, even though we feel like post-apocalyptic fungus monsters. Well, I have good news for you, you little post-apocalyptic fungus babies. Oh, wrong, wrong button. I'm going to be playing RimWorld Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Making a village suitable for all of you. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna ruin the game for a lot of you. But anytime those eyes, like, they get all wide and they do this, I can only imagine them saying, I'm gonna zerk! And then all the little zerks come out of somewhere and start chasing after me. <laughs> I'm zerking! Alright, I think they might zerk one more time at me. I'm actually gonna pop these ones. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Morbin time. <laughs> Why 
Watch the eyes. Alright, they might zerk again. Oh, I'm zerking! Where'd they zerk? Oh, they zerked over there. It's an elaborate, elaborate clear eyes commercial. Yeah, I actually gotta moisturize my eyes, because my eyes hurt a little bit. Spurtron says my brand. <laughs> All right, beauty babies. This is what it feels like to be at uh, TwitchCon EU. Taking him out in one smooth, controlled zerk. Good. Bunch up. Whoa. Just like playing Earth Defense Force again. And that's a game I'm really excited for. EDF 6 is coming out in a few weeks. Oh, that was a big zerk right there. Yeah, new EDF. To save our Mother Earth from any alien attack. What do we have over here? EDF. Earth Defense Force is one of the greatest series ever made. It's a game that didn't forget that it's a fucking game. You know what I mean? Oh, out of base. I still can't forget about that one time. Artosis, the greatest Brood War player to ever play the weakest race. Um, when Artosis was was just ranting, when someone's like, hey, have you played this game? And he's like, dude, no, that game has a story. Games shouldn't have stories. I don't know what it's doing, having a story. And I think about that. It's like, if you want a story, go watch a movie. I play games to play games. And he, I mean, he was faceting a little bit. Oh my god, they look like my dog's eyes when she's napping. Time to uninstall StarCraft. That's what Artosa says every time he cues against Protoss. Zinga badoinga! Yeah, but like... What am I talking about? Uh, is, this is all to say that, like, I, I don't know, it, it, it is a super exaggeration, because there's a lot of games that I love that are story-driven. I'm sure the same is true for Artosis, but, like... But I do feel like there, there's a lot of games that I've played in the last 20 years where it just felt like someone was showing me how they were able to showcase technical achievement. Good morning. Hello. Where well, they were trying to showcase technical achievement. Oh, I gotta go all the way around, huh? They're trying to showcase how many features they had. But it feels like everyone forgot that we're trying to play a game here, you know what I mean? Oh. The 
The best example of a game that didn't forget that it was a game is Vampire Survivors. That's the best recent example I can think of. is like a decade ago you were playing Portal 2 and you were talking about design and how the lighting being guide for that game and I can't help but think of that here. It's super clear where it wants you to go which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, dude. In Half-Life 2 where I just constantly said the ostinato of well, follow the light blue light. I don't know. Let's just follow the light blue light. Yeah, see look. Here, here's a huge light. Maybe I should go here. Duh, duh. Maybe I should like duh. Oh, hold on. He just zerked all over my path. Now, where do I want to go? Hey, look at where the biggest specularities are. Boosh, boosh. Da, da, da. I'm a cat. Da, da, da. I go D Shui. Hey guys. Whoop. Yep. Yeah, I, I think that I'm I am because I went from this game's ten out of ten to I'm really not sure what this game is about and what it's doing. And I think where I'm at now, I think this game's actually excellent. Craig says, what's up with this music? Are we tense, chat? I think it was trying to make me tense, but the thing is that I've never really gotten scared in games. Never really gotten frightened when I'm playing a game because, you know, it's just hard to be scared when you know that you never miss a shot. It's hard to be scared when you're one of the most powerful beings that can exist. A cat. You know, do you ever, you ever go through life and just feel like you don't feel seen? You know what I mean? Oh, B12's cute. Ugh. Look, it's the subscribers of our channel. place that was orange in the entire thing. You're really right, Sigourney. This game does an incredible job guiding you. Just like bat it off into the water. It was dark. I was alone. I felt like I was back in the network. But you just saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my bones. The dyslexia is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful.
Dude, look, look at how the... Just the... Um, this is something that was shown in the recent Unity 5 demos, which is like, have you ever been in a dark room and you open the door to like a really bright sunny day and it's like so bright that your eyes are like, ah, and you can't see anything and then your eyes adjust? Like, this game does this, like a little bit of this when this first turns on. Really nice effect. Hmm. Or maybe it's my eyes doing it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just describing what my eyes are doing. I'm seeing this, and it's changing, and my eyes are doing things. Incredible design. I also really like how visually this game is taking place in a dystopian cyberpunk city. Or less cyberpunk-ish, more just like dystopian. And... Um... I really like the way in which it continues to do varying looks and feels in places. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Zabaltazar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Oh, there's another fucking whole ass village. Ant village. Wait, I see. This This is... This is Village for Ants. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah! So are these cutscenes? Uh, no, these are cat scenes. Oh, Gorbachana, you wrote cutscenes, and what I did is didn't understand your your statement. And then I made the joke that you made first. Wow, that really sucks. That's all right. We're gonna plow ahead. This machine, the scientist I assisted, used one of these. He was sick. It was his last hope. He walked into the machine, but I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. That's me watching the game right now. Was it? It was me. I, I was the scientist. I don't care at all. You know, this is like that one friend of yours that's going through a big journey of self-discovery, and when you speak to them, all they do is talk about themselves, and they keep sharing with you big realizations that you can't relate to because you're literally not them, and you understand that it's meaningful for them, and you want to be a supportive friend, but they haven't asked you how you are in five months. That's B12. B12's... I let me tell you a little bit more about the scientist who, oh god, he was really trying hard to do it, and everyone loved him. But, you know, no one really understood him, and I worry about him a lot. Wait, am I... I'm the scientist. I was human. I still shake my whole self. No, I, I need a moment. I'm going through a hard time right now. New memory received. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I just don't feel like talking right now. Sonic Raptor says, what an analogy? Yeah, I mean, you got... Gorbachana just gifted us five subs. But did you mean to gift us five cat scenes? Ah, I fucking made the joke better than you could have ever made that joke. That's me that did that. I provided that to you as a service. Drooling fucking everywhere. <laughs> Gorbachana says, I can't deliver punchlines like you do. That's true, because I'm the only one with a microphone on this fucking channel. All right, so... C. Gordini just types cat lines. That's right. These are my cat lines. Hi, I just rub it up and down against this wall all day. I haven't had paint in 20 years. 
Ooh. Let's hope they gamble. Alright, I'm gonna fucking ruin this shit. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck you guys! Meet me! Whoa! Hi, I know I said I needed a moment, but I'm gonna keep messaging you. Can you- you don't have to respond, but just let me know that you're here. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends, what happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? I'm actually referencing a, um... Well, I, I, I've known more than one person like this. I even remember, I once upon a time had a friend. We're not friends anymore, not because anything bad happened, it's just because I kind of stopped hanging out. But I remember one time, um, they picked me up and literally ranted from the moment that they picked me up to dinner till we got home. And right as I was being dropped off, they went, man, but I haven't even asked you how you are. How are you? And I was like, I'm all right. Thanks for dinner, man. <laughs> I fucking left. Uh, that's B12, by the way. I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Can I meet anyone here? Oh, shit. Get up. Do you want to meet me? No one wants to meet me, man. I thought it'd be, like, really popular here. Why doesn't anyone want to meet me? What's going on? Is this broken? Is this busted? Is this fucking busted? Can I not meet anyone here? Like, what the fuck? Get me out of here. Oh, B12 doesn't want to talk and translate. Oh, yeah, because he's going through some things. Sorry, I'm just dealing with a lot right now. Why don't you understand me? No one ever gives me the space I need. I don't understand why I can't get attention. Leave me alone. I want to talk. I don't want to talk right now. I'm having a hard time. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Looks like heaven to me. What's this? What's this? Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, there he is. He's just absolutely, like, crotch-nuzzling a monitor. Yeah, this guy definitely plays Super Smash Bros. Melee. You have no idea how much faster the refresh rate is on this bubble screen. Oh, it's you! You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. Outsider and all the media that I've ever fucking read. They are evil, horrifying beings from another dimension. And we're just a cat. So, I don't know, you know, I can't not think about that. I miss them, their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. You still want to see the outside? She's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture like a complete and total creep. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. Should be easy for a dexterous one like you. You managed to reach the outside. Be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Thanks, Baltazar. Sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look at what's left of you. So much has come back, I just... How much have I forgotten? Oh, maybe we find Clementine. We can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. You can go back down and find out more of the companions or head onward to Midtown. Onward to Midtown. K 
care about anyone. No. No, I've just undone my fucking progress. Shit. Alright, well, let's begin the long journey back up. Hey, it's Baltazar. The name Baltazar is so fucking funny to me. Of course, I do remember the famed legends from Chrono Trigger. Baltazar. But Zabaltazar is just so good. Zb. I gotta meow more. These are fucking incredible cat meows. Was that the frog man? Uh, no, the frog man in uh, Chrono Trigger was named Frog. <laughs> and in the Japanese version, it was Keru. K A E R U. But I like that the frog was named Frog. There's also a frog in Japanese, Kaeru. Kaeru. Japanese, his name is Frog. Yeah, I know Frog's theme. Fucking great music in Chrono Trigger. Look, this is a subway station. I'd completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city, unless you live in America. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I used to have a f a f a f a f a f a f a family. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. God, now I'm just vitamin B12. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What matters is that this is a subway. Anyways, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementon. Albatross in Time says, I rode the subway for my family. My sacrifice. <laughs> we have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Why is my cat getting clipped out of the frame? This is this is what Despy looks like when we're streaming. <laughs> yeah. Metro line lower, upper, out. You're here. We're in Upper Town. As a cat, this is exactly how I would navigate this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now remember... There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing. It was quite like the smell of books on the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book it was like spending time with someone. Hey. 
Uh, hello, uh, I am uh, Le Doc. <laughs> Shell item. Would you like Clementine's picture? I. Where the rest of my shit go, dude? See, here's the same trash can as before. Textured a little differently. They're so good with the reuse of the assets here, man. I already told you five times, Yash. You can't run around like that, it's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Have you seen my Clementine? Oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? <gasps> you should ask someone else. I'm too busy with Yash here to know anything. Fucking Yash, right? Where's your brother Sanj? Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Huh? Oh, there's gonna be some fucking secrets back here. You know it. Oh shit! It's bedtime. Ah. Oh. Fuck you and your stupid carpet thing. Oh, that makes you real fucking sad, huh? Do you hear that down below? That ebb, that flow. The city haunts me. It taunts me. Oh, Clementine? Yeah, you just hang with her. She wanted to leave. She was a breeze, then she flew. She's a wanted person now. They're too heavy for me. Shh, hear that? That ebb, that flow. Let it go, let it flow. Move on with your life. Act like you know. I've been on my last breath. I've been between life and death. But I gotta let it go. Can't deal with the stress. That's a good track. I should listen to that. Is that Jean Grey? I think it's Jean Grey. I think it's Jean Grey. Someone help me. Someone who knows more about the lyrics. Can I get up through here? I like being back here. It's nice as a cat. Oh, fucking wipe out. Yeah, don't fuck with me, meow. Oh, shit, look at Midtown. Isn't Midtown bright and breezy. Yes, I've been playing Bristleback lately. Residency, Shop Street, Neko Corp. I mean, just look, look at how good that looks. Is there any way to, like, ensure that RTX is on? No, it's just like... It's like, no, 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 we just know how the graphics should look. They look how they look. Oh, shit, yeah, here we go. I'm busy, what do you want? Awesome. Isn't that the logo? For something? Isn't 
that? Or maybe it's DB. Or it's the other way. Maybe that's a kid who's, like, doing this with their hands. It's a robot strip club. Time to be a little cat detective, I suppose. Let's talk to you. Hello. Peacemaker 198. Do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted. The elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. Meow! Hey. We need to find a way out of here. Walls are under someone named Clementine. Oh, the symbols on the back could help us. Get the fuck out of here. I'm really bad at these rotations in 3D. I just like doing 90 degree turns and 180 degree turns. Blue, green, red. All right. Hey. You know what, my friends? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious and my bond of poison for 350 years, so be careful. Oh, now I'll find this girl. It's a matter of time before she gets caught by the Sentinels. But keep asking around, you'll let him find her. Just know that you will also find trouble. Whoa. Croony. And Goody. I just walked into the elevator and I got yelled at by Sentinels. For years I've been told that the service is uninhabitable. We just accept this as fact. But why? What's this? Oh, what a lovely photo. Hmm, I think she looks familiar, but I can't be sure. My hard drive's a little buggy these days. I'm sorry I can't help you. You should ask someone else. Just a cat asking questions. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. What can I do for you tonight, chef? Can you pay me with real money? Sick. Oh, fuck, no way. Let chaos reign. It's interesting to see the robots making human work and behavior. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was human. It was a small welcome. The server's name was. I don't remember starting with. Mm. Hello. Sorry, shop fills waiting for delivery, guys. Having a sweet time. Have you seen? Have you seen this boy? Success with the outside, sure. All right. Ah! Ah! Oh, dude, bro, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. I know it's fucking fuck off. I know. X. Okay. So, I think this is a, a list of the alleys. Wait. Up. Up. X. Oh. My. God. All right. Dot. Green dot. It's three. Okay, hold on. It's three and it was five. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I gotta go up one more if I can. Do, do, 
Hey, I see stairs right up. I'm a cat detective. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. But a cat can fit in. It's really nice. It's 11th of October everywhere we go. What a paradise. I would live here. I thought you were sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Hi, I'm with Zbaltazar. Wait, so Zbaltazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I'm looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow Vin. Ooh, someone's got that mother's milk going on. Welcome to my obsession closet. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I need you to go get some adhesive, scare a sentinel, it'll rip off his hat, allowing you to pretend to be the shopkeeper to break into the shop to get me that atomic battery. I know the sequence is coming. I know NECA Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Alright. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentence. Alright, gold chain and bomber jacket. Gold chain and bomber jacket. Yeah. Come to ask fire in the factory to roll around the bottom of the gold chain. And it's near the factory? Trip that bad boy up. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna find one of these little signorinos. Not that way. Alright, where where is a sign? Neko, 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 neko. Excellent, sick, tight, fantastic, fuck yeah. That's where everyone lives. Let's go this way. It hey, says, have you thought about getting Despy or Sheriff little backpacks? You know, I wasn't, but now that you've mentioned it, a little backpack would do well on these little babies. You been in the city below? I had a friend there. Fifi! See my ages. Fifi. Fifi. Surgery. Sounds very factory like. Here we go. Echo Corp. All right. Gold chain and the bomber jacket. Do you have a gold chain on, dude? 
Oh, guy wearing bomber chain and a gold chain? Yeah, I think I saw a guy like that. He's near the club, I think. The club? Oh my god. Hey. There he is. I'm busy. What do you want? Where'd you get that? Oh, you're with Out... Outsy? Let me brief you about the atomic battery, alright? The battery is powering the Necocorp factory right there. But this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let me see if I can... Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good... Okay, let me... Let me... YouTube.com. Where? Let me see if I can find this shit. Let me mute. Let's uh, battle tech. Gameplay, no commentary. Uh, wait, battle tech. Sega Genesis gameplay, no commentary. Yeah, let me see if. I want to see if I can get this thing up. J just listening to him, like trying to explain shit to me, was like so funny. All right, let me let me see if I can get this shit up here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, so then I'm gonna over here and I'm gonna hit two. All right, so let me. Okay, so this is a game on the Sega Genesis that like. Um, this game, like, just had the most insane mission briefings. Oh yeah, Malibu Interactive. Hell yeah. So, like, I don't know if anyone played Sega Genesis games. I remember this game so clearly. Yeah, you like that? And then you get to the menu. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Line them up. Bang. Boom. That's me. Wait for it. Hold on. There's another mech. Battletech. Battle tech. That's me. Alright. So, so listen. <laughs> look at these, look at these mission briefings. Now, this, this game was released, God, in like the early 90s. So, in this game, in this game Stray that we're playing, like, it's telling us, it's like highlighting shit. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet. And then I'm going to end, and if I hit this down button, the game is like, we need to find these to get inside. Maybe some of the shops around here have these items, right? It's There's built-in guidance in there. But the way that old Genesis games worked, or in fact most of the games in the 90s worked, is it would just literally tell you a shitload of information at the start and you needed to remember it. And if you didn't remember it, you gotta start the whole mission over and just remember your briefing, man. So, I remember this game so clearly. Not just for the sweet gameplay, which I'll also show you in a sec. But for the insane introductions. Like, listen to this. Your first mission takes place on the planet Al Shane against the Draconis Combine. You'll be dropped in the southern sectors of their complex. Alright. Take out the four main installations. The radar site, the aerotech base, the DCM's mech and tank bays, and the DCM's compound. As soon as you land, quickly neutralize the radar site in the southeast sectors. This will force the ground-based guns to target manually. The aerotech squadron will constantly attack you from above. The only defense is to destroy their base in the eastern sectors. The DCM's mech and tank bays are located in the western sectors. These must be eliminated to prevent the DCMs from amassing huge mech and tank forces. Finally, take out the DCMs compound located in the northern sectors. The compound is well defended by a sophisticated internal laser defense system. <laughs> the laser defense system is powered by four external energy converters, which should be destroyed before entering the compound. 
The entrance to the compound is sealed with an armored bay door. One of our star captains was able to deactivate it, but was captured and is being held prisoner somewhere in the complex. The only way to gain entrance into the DCM's compound is to rescue the Star Captain so he can detonate the bay doors. The 14th Legion of Vega is defending this complex. Do not tread lightly. Galaxy Commander Colonel Hard out. Alright, like... <laughs> I already forgot everything. I mean, basically, it's just, it's just blow everything up. This is one of the very first games that did, like, my all-time favorite mechanic, which is, like, loadouts before you hop into a game. Like, Plants vs. Zombies, Magic the Gathering, Battletech. You have three uh, weapons on A, B, and C in the Sega Genesis. Machine laser. And you get to pick a mix of them. And if you hold A or B, it just shoots that. Laser. And this... Laser. And it just has that completely blown out ultra... <laughs> Approaching. Ultra compressed audio. And I, I'm just thinking about this because the instant that in Stray, let me just close this garbage. The instant that in Stray, this guy starts yapping about like, we're gonna need to do this and that and that and this. I just thought about the fact that the game gave me two things to do, but in Battletech. It's just like, you need to do this, and this, and this, and this, and don't forget these, and there's a Star Captain, and the Squadron of Vega, and Laser Towers. Maybe some of the shops around here have these items. Alright, it's time to go shopping. Zongon5 says, your streams always calm me down after a rough day. Thank you, sir. Happy to help. Close, close, get lost. Or is it closed? Hey. So we have to fuck some shit up over here. All right, so we need to find a tape. We can find a tape from somewhere. And just blare this shit. Then we can distract the guy long enough to steal the jacket. But where are we going to get a tape? Maybe from the club? She's weird because now now it's very, very point and click adventure gaming. The hell do we get into the electronics shop? Hmm. Oh, this is the kitchen. Double check to make sure that there's no tapes around here. All right. Battle tech. Oh shit! It's a fucking hat store. Talk with, with Hater, nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. It's gonna come to those two are, might be a while. How do we break in? When the agents for stoop Lachi to get back and help me restock these hats, the boss is not happy. That guy's sucking off at the bar again, he's got another thing coming. Alright. 
Where the fuck is the bar, man? The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Oh, do you have any music? I'm a cat. Not go upstairs. Mom and Dad had a long day at work and want to watch TV. Do not go upstairs. Where is this bar? You think is this a bar? Does this look like a bar? No. no? Okay. I, I really gotta start paying attention to the lay of the land over here. So half towns here. Ooh, it's really juicy and red over here. Hey, bar town. Neat. Drink responsibly, little one. Not like this guy in the back room, what a pity. The guy in the back is absolutely well lubed, if you know what I mean. Only a big crush on the head could wake him up. Alright. Alright, gimme get gimme get out of here. Very well. All right, where, where's my way up here? I literally am just trying to get up to there. There we go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's get that hat. Ooh. We coming back, baby. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just hosed. Come on, pick me up. There it is. I play way, way, way too fucking many adventure games for this not to have been the easiest way. Now I need to get a tape. So I bet you the tape is located in the club, which is located this way. And see, so you can tell this is where we need to go because it's literally pointing all the way up there. So, how do we get up there? We go starting over here. Alright, how do we get up? Get on up. Really, all the way over here? How the hell? Oh, give me a, give me a damn break! All right, all right. This looks like a start. Oh, hi! Oh. <laughs> Exactly like this. I don't even mean to do this, but this is this is terrific. Oh, 
Okay, so we need to go up. We need to go up. Uppity buppity buppity duppity do. Can we maybe climb up the front side of this truck? It has a ridiculous looking setup to it. Ah, no. Okay, so here, here we go. Can I get up there? No. Pathetic. Pathetic. See, we need we need to go up. We need to go up. That's why it's purple. That's why it's purple. You see this little purple sign here? See this? Right there. That's telling us we need to go up. Get in here somewhere up there. do some parkour. I guarantee it. This is literally the start of the parkour sequence. I'm telling you, this is it. Jump up. Sucking cat. this it? Oh, praise be. We found a way in. See, I'm telling you, I am like, I'm unstoppable at games like this. Like, no one has ever been able to find a way to stop me. Well, fuck. We got stopped. Ha! Yeah, fuck yeah, man. I'm so sick. Oh, the downstairs are up to. I keep hearing buzzsaw and hammer noises. Can I get up here? Yes! No. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, dude, I need some fucking air edition right now, man. Some first edition air edition, if you know what I mean. God, my character cat is so pissed off right now. Trying to get into this club. I'm telling you, the club is where to go. See, look at this. It's in the club. Because I need a tape. I need a tape. Does your cat have a name? My real life cats? Real conspicuous, cat-ass looking fucking maneuvering locations up there. I'm telling you, this is it, man. Look at the little cat hole right there, man. It's fucking insane. See, like, that window right up there? How do we get up? How do we get up? This I, this I pose to you. I think I think I'm experiencing erudition right now. I think this is it. Get get out get out of there. Oh wait. 
Oh my god, am I air conditioning? This is crazy. Hi. Hello. Baby. No. Okay, we just came from there. Alright, let's get on down. Kitten, I'm gonna need you to... Um, I know that you were really interested in this title, but uh, it is my profession to play this game, so, you know. Hey, can we not? Can we just, can we just cut this out? Turkey chunky baby. It is the butt of my cat. We can go anywhere from here. Maybe this is a red herring, this fucking club. Dude, Desperado. Look, here, let me move this. Oh, translate. What does this say, huh? We're looking for some company to talk poetry. I live behind the elevator. Bonobot. Live behind the elevator. Ah, that's right. That's the guy who was talking about Clementine and her vibes and shit. I feel like this should probably be... Wait, okay, so... So that's where surgery happens. In front of this fucking place. Hmm. Crazy ups here, man. Hmm, construed this tomorrow if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day another arm too, and then my body and so on to replace all the parts and upgrade my software, I'll be the same robot you're talking to now. Hmm. Uh yes, yes you will. Alright, moving on. What's up here? There's the sentinels. All right, so. Let's hear where that fucking guy was. Any records? Trash City Blast. I'm just going to do the relentless work, but not me. Dude, I really genuinely feel like I'm supposed to be finding a way into this club. That's what I think. But let's just start going into places, huh? Because what we need is a record to insert to create a distraction. Like a cassette tape, excuse me. I keep saying record. I mean, I'm able to go up here. And this gives me some interesting access to some new places. It doesn't give me access to all the places. See, I thought that I might be able to get over to there. 
but I cannot. And if I scratch at this door, it just tells me that it sounds like there's a lot of hammering and banging happening in there. Hum de hum de bum de boo. What on earth am I gonna do? Can I jump over there? Because again, I see this kind of around and up sign. Which makes me think I'm supposed to enter into this area from above. So because of that, I'm trying to find ways to go up. this maybe a way up no way holy shit i found a way up okay go this way all right and okay we're making progress but i have to use the restroom i have to use the restroom so stay here so stay here Everybody stay here. BRB, uno momento. Oh my god. Oh my god, she didn't chew through it. She didn't chew through it. She's a good cat. She's not grounded. How do I get up there? I literally feel so much like a cat right now. Can I get up onto this fucking thing? I'm literally a little cat who's just trying to find how to get up. Can I... I just thought maybe I could get up here. But I, I'm, like, astounded that I can't get up there from here. This is, like, the perfect cat launch pad. 
Like what what are you what are you doing to me here? Alright, may, maybe maybe I'm on the wrong path here. Dumpster at the back. There's like a cassetti, a Betty cassetti. I ain't seeing no dumpster. All right, let me just climb up on this. Hello. It's my only customer. Try to scare him away, please. I used it on the bar. It was a cozy place around until I screwed over the knee and now it's closed. Ah! Alright. I play games too. Holy shit, fucking sick. Okay. Let me show you the logic that I was going for here. Let me show you my logic and you're gonna be like, your train of thought is unassailably correct. Oh, this guy just literally is fucking holding that. Oh shit, look at that. Well, oh, shit's right there. Okay. All right. Oh my god, okay. All right, all right, my unassailable logic was incorrect. Which means I personally feel fucking assailed. Oh, is it that this is... Oh, very well. All right, there's one. All right, so that's two. Where's the third one, huh? Where's the third one? I gotta go back down. This cat needs to lose weight. Nah, I'm fucking perfect the way I am. You will note on Friday I was wearing a shirt that says my cat's body is none of your business. And I stand by that shirt. Where, Where's this other camera? Oh my god, where's the other fucking camera? Oh god. No. Oh. 
Fuck is this thing? All right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna just kitty cat our way through this. Ha ha! There it fucking is. Yeah. All right. I feel like we hear it. I, I, I couldn't actually tell if that was the camera or the dude. See what I mean? Alright. Alright. There we go. There we go. So now we're going to run out here. We're going to go into... The shirt store, which is over not here or there. Aha, uh -huh. it is ill. Here we go. Select an item, cassette tape, hell yeah. Pretty good track. Hey, hey, go get me a worker jacket. Oh, excellent! How will do a trick? Oh, oh, oh! I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around? Show me that robo dick. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Clip it. Oh my god, clip. Yes, I got him to say it. It's forever mine. I'll mint it. Hi, I have the uniform. You probably know that I therefore work here. Stop right there. Well, it looks like everything that's on top of the box is fine. All right, yeah, just bring br the top of the box looks clear. Let's let's go on in. It's definitely not a cat. I I, I am not a cat. Whoa! Who? And you never saw me. You never saw me. Well, this factory does not look like it does a lot of good work here. I'm not going to lie. Seriously, Angsty says, dude, it's been a very work intensive month, so I haven't had much uh, to laugh about. Then I saw Dana Stackland burn. The force down for a stick, thank you. Oh, ho, 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 that fucking hurt me. I hurt myself real bad, Ben. Get in the box! Ugh! I don't even remember what I'm trying to do. Shit, get in the fucking box. Yeah, what, what is this look see pattern over here? Oh, I see. Don't mind if I do. Can't be a modern video game without a stealth section, it's true. Hello. Hey, good thing you're here, you can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The central street told me, it told me, there's no place to go more work here then. Why don't you help me find them? Oh God, I'm fucking so happy. How do I? 
How do I get down? How do I get down? How do I get down? Does anyone see how I go down? Figured it out. Oh. Just random boxes to get inside. That's good. I like I like a nice random box. our guy get his get his goodness again get his keys or maybe i don't care about him. maybe fuck him i don't know he didn't do anything for me he just begs ah yes someone played inside for sure did i replay through inside again recently that game rules Dude, I'm such a problem solver. there. Excellent. Very good. Very, very tight. Very cool. Oh, is there a... What, what's seeing me? Oh, shit. supposed to like literally stop following me dude fuck me man get in the fucking box oh i see if they detect me for long enough they just go absolutely ape shit man i see i see i see see i see i see i see i see okay where's where's this turd from Oh, this is the starting area. Oh. Well, what's what's over here? Just guys, just people doing work and shit. Well, whatever, whatever. Not the most secure facility I've ever seen.
this mean? What does this mean? Oh! Okay, so we probably need to get into here. We need to turn this on to make it follow us. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Follow me. have never not solved a puzzle on the first try any time a puzzle was presented to me again. It's uncanny. Give me the atomic battery. Well, this is an awfully bizarre facility. I'm not entirely sure why this works this way, but that's the way that this works. We got it. It's Clementine, we go this way. Got in the basket, baby. Out of my way. Turn the corner, you fucking fuck. I think it might actually be reasonable to just... Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, I died in the box. Sometimes you just die in the box. Sometimes. Sometimes you get turned into cat food. Time to find another way up. Alright, so we need to find another way up to the third story. Slow and steady. Exact opposite of how I like to do things.
Holy shit, that was terrible. Oh fuck. Get in the box. fucking see anything at all. And away we go. Literally all the technology of the future is overcome by getting in the box. I think I broke it. Because it's supposed to be rotating around, but I think it's like some sort of gimbal lock style issue. Oh, fucking holy shit. What if I get up here? Can you see me? Holy shit. The oh, fuck? Run, you fucking cat! Fucking run the fuck away! Just fucking run! And we are fine. It was not a stealth section. You just needed to run. Alright, great. Hello! Hello, I have an atomic battery. Clam? Hmm. No signal of Clam. Oh, she looks like some kind of coded message. We're gonna have to play detective. Figure out, look. Or B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four signals. <laughs> Alright. It's signed Clementine. Okay, she said to look at her stuff. So let's go do it. Plant. Crystal. Some kind of sex toy. And then a lava lamp. Alright. Gained new item. Lava lamp. You found something? Fucking right here. Ugh. All right, hold on. It's a plant with just going like, ugh, like that. Okay, so we gotta find that one. Fucking, she couldn't, she couldn't just be one of those people with one plants. I just, I just cannot get enough plants. The clues, they're, uh, the clues are, uh, they're in my stuff. Just look for my stuff. Get up there. Huh?
I mean, cats can't get fucking up here, man. This is impossible. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so it's gonna have a hexagon. Oh, wait. I think, it, I think it's just this fucking thing. I'm with... Okay, good, good. We're there. So it's gonna be... Okay. It's gonna be something like some crostals. Maybe it'll be brightly lit crostals. All right, Detective Day Nine, the cat is on the case. Going up. Oh, oh, it's this one. Fucking look. Gotcha. No idea what this glow's mesmerizing. Wait, I didn't even notice the message here. It reads, I'm with Blah, Blah, Nightclub. Okay. Probably just looking for something that's really glowing hard. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yep, yeah, there it is. Get going up. Cats rise up. Cats rise up. Found you. Fucking... I got you. There's your fucking crystals. Ah! Inspect this shit. Gem is of medium value and purity. Maybe it acts as a beacon. I'm with Bl Blazer in the nightclub. Okay, wait. What's the last clue? Up. Uh, Oh shit. Lies in my stuff. We've done this one, this one, this one, this weird little legged potty boy. Where's a legged potty boy? Anyone else see a legged potty boy? Legged potties, legged potty boys. I don't think I've seen anything that looks like that. Or come to nightclub. Alright. Is there a window for me to jump out of here or do I have to go back through hell again? Mm-hmm. Well. 
Simon. Climb in the back again. See, I fucking knew that you climbed in the back. I knew that you climbed in the back. I knew that you climbed in the back. I knew that shit. Called it a thousand times today. Got you, fucking, oh, dude, I, you, like, literally, my adventure gamer sense was just tingling way too hard. Out of the way. Let me in. Hey, how'd you get up here? You wanna party with us? Jump in, get a drink. Get cat drunk. I'm, I'm so sick. I'm with Laser. Tracks fucking it. All right. Hello, DJ Matsy. Let's go, Blazer. Lever base. All right. I mean. Oh, there you are. Hey, hello. Hi, hello, hello, let me up. Where, uh, dude, I'm just gonna talk to every single person fucking in here. There's Alex. This club sucks. Yeah. So you give you the drink and give you this fucking silly lever. Are we fucking serious? I have to get a man a drink? I love these games. I like my master made it myself. Shh. Oh, it's how I dance. There he goes. So they're in the club somewhere, but I don't know where. Okay. All right, great. Found him. Got him. All right, this guy just has a lever. Here you go. Fuck. All right, we have a lever. This track. Is hilarious. Use it. Right. Hell yeah. Yo, fuck yeah. Oh, one of these puzzles where it like moves some of them, but not all of them. I want these ones down. Yeah, there we go. Mm. 
What are you doing going down? I, I just came to you. Come here. Hello. We're relating to the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. Alright, here I go. <laughs> oh, Blazer, you evil bastard. Two bears with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyways, nothing personal. Business is business. Business is money, and I value money more than friendship, camaraderie. They are all yours. <laughs> I've been shot. I hate it. Oh, this is the game. Oh, I'm a cat again. Let's go. I'm a little kitty cat again. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Jail. Jumping puzzles. Yay! Oh my god, yeah. me well I know how to solve this problem ah oh I got stuck I can't believe we died to cat jail no it's okay I already know the solution to this it's to run as fast as I fucking can I and mean, this is how it's done It's the number one fan. No, the fuck. I like being just a cat. Oh, cat again. Is he coming back? Oh, my. Came back. Oh my god. I'm so snaky. What am I doing? I guess I'm trying to get around that fucker. Hi. 
Whoa, you did not like that, like, at all, man. It's fine. It's fine, whatever. I'm just your father, and I show you nothing but eternal love, and you just like to test me for it. It's fine. I can, so I can get behind that. So... What? How do I... I'm trying to get onto this fucking rail. Let's fucking see. Uh, fucking excuse me. What? Thank you. Thank you. Like, Jesus, how the fuck did you guys? It's crazy. It's fucking insane. I can't believe I'm seeing you. See, I, I like this kind of storytelling. I like that, where it's just like pointing. It just shows me. Don't mind if I do. I can go this way. Oh, my. Like this? This is fucking awesome. This is exactly what this game should be. Let me let me show you something cool here, huh? Here this way, yeah. Hey, look over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, look 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 at my cat. There we go. I'm the smartest fucking cat you've ever seen, dude. Smartest cat, number one cat ever. So here's where I'm at. Where's my phone? Oh, hold on, cutscene. Alright. It says the main story. Four and a half hours to complete this fucking thing. Well, I mean, I gotta, I gotta go for a little bit longer because this is probably the last sequence, right? This is probably it. This is probably the last one. We're getting out of here, huh? Feels like a final sequence kind of thing. Feels like a big final sequence kind of thing. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna go for maybe another 30. I do want food though. Go 
all the way across. Seems like an unintelligent thing to do, but I'll do it. Okay, video game. We can't jump over that. Okay. We need to go back into here and try to, like, strafe between some shit. Seems good. Seems good. Well, the music, the music's perfect for this. Mission Impossible cat moments. <coughs> shit. Fuck. Shit. I did not mean to meow. Get in the box. I did not mean to get into that. Ugh, meowing is. Meowing's rough. Alright, let's jump out of the box. Fucking holy shit. Alright, not what I expected to see. Yeah, I didn't fucking see nothing either, man. and see what's going on here. So I see there's this giant power cable. It's going into here. I'm going to yoink this down. Cool. Ow. Is that noise? So, so do I just like walk up to him? Just like get in there? Fucking holy shit. Now what do we think that we do? So like now what do we do? Do we think? So like now what do we think that we do? Like what do we think that we now that we do? So, I mean I got my friend. Or should I go back to my other friend or some shit like that? All right, something like this. Well, why didn't you do that shit when back? Okay, sure. <laughs> Good. Put on your jacket. You came back to me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. You need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? go.
Oh, do I have to do everything myself in this fucking game? Gotta do everything here, man. Smash it. Mm. I really have to get all the way up there. Yeah, yeah, hop on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, 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 good. Over here. Huh. All right, we're we're really slowly and incredibly secretively and stealthily. Sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can bait them into those cells and lock them in. What? Which cells? Guy on the ground over there, he was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Holy shit. It's always me making the sacrifices. Can you imagine? It's like, can you distract them and bring them in there and your cat just gets one shot and you're like, oh, I don't have a backup plan. La 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 la. Follow me. What is wrong with your brain and eyes, man? Center has done me the greatest going. My nice clear lucid. I'm an exemplary citizen now. Alright, see you later. Alright, keep going. Poor fellows from Sentinels are ruthless and they really hate things, and this guy is a bad person. They've completely erased them to more emotions, self-awareness. Let's not get caught. No problem. 55. Alright, so we have some cells. We have some celly bellies. So we need to lock... I think I need to lock it in there with me. I think I have to lock it in there with me. All right. Come on, you fucking turd. Get in here. Ah! I was so close. 
I think I think this is it. I think this is the end of the game. I feel like this is there's gonna be maybe one more of these sequences, and then we're gonna be alright. Oh yeah, I can do this. Evasive maneuvers. I'm so fucking sick. I'm so fucking sick. No one's ever been this sick. Run out the fucking door! Oh, shit, man. Fucking camera souls this bullshit. <sighs> Alright, I think this is it. I think this is the game. still out there. Fuck! I can hear the other bastard. Ah, this part is fucking terrifying! Close the fucking door! Fuck, I hate this shit. I I, I I don't I don't really know what I think about this entire sequence. I find it find it bizarre. I get what it wants me to do, but this is this is just like some horror mode all of a sudden. Is there a fucking box inside here? Jesus. It's my ninth death. <sighs> okay. Let's come up with a solution here. It's maybe a little bit cleaner. Yes, yeah, because we died nine times. That's it. Lupa! Oh, Lupa. Alright, we're just like so breaking out of jail. Alright, here I go. Hello. Alright. the door? So we are the jail? I think we can open from the control room over there. We have to find a way to access the room. Then we're just gonna go. We're gonna access it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over that fence. <laughs> All right. Hey, for anyone who's beat this, am I reasonably close to the end? Are we close? Are we close? Because, like, I, I want dinner. I want to eat. I don't want to be 95% of the way through and then stop. But if we're, like, 80% through, I'll stop. Albatross time, because I don't know about you, but I'm hyped for RimWorld. Ah! Fucking wait for me, you turd! Evasive fucking maneuvers, man. Fucking, come here. Get on the fucking... Jesus! <laughs> It's like, just slow down, man! You have no clue how slow I run! <laughs> Is this the end? This feels like the ending sequence. Great move, man. Some baby driver moves. Good thing we have the stability of a high speed tuk tuk. Or I'll make it with sentinels on our tail. I'm sure for a little while we have to go. The outside manifest says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. That's me hitting the button. That's me. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Go now. All right. Am I going the right way? Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the right way. The battery. Neko Corp. Ding, ding, bang. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. All right. Follow the bright green lights. Follow the bright green ones. Here we go. To the control command center. Shit. Get off. Get up. Use the key. All right, are we getting out? Is this it? All right. Go, I'm still meowing. out it was all an experiment yeah heavy rainbow instead of Sean it's me out alright oh it's nice here enjoy the world's safest city walled city 99 Hello. <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. What? Am 
Must get to the outside. 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 Greetings, Avenue Wald City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside that control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Alright, very well. Alright, end. Oh, shit. Well, that looks fucking incredible. Oh, that just looks amazing. Oh, that just looks incredible and amazing. You see, there's there's the tower that we ran to during the run from bug sequence. I mean, that's great. That's great shit. Control room. Inspect. Control room is closed by some sort of security protocol that says only humans are authorized to enter. It also says I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Triangle. Huh. Alright, let's get one of these. Nice. Uh, what? I hit a bug? Is that... Okay, so let me let me try this and see if I do this now. Okay. We're human! <laughs> we fucking figured it out, baby. Oh, of course. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did then. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. Listen, I got three friends that are cats. They are all I give a shit about. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Haha, <laughs> 59. Nice. <laughs> Alright. I mean, th this view is, like, fucking worth the price alone. Incroyable. Alright. Inspect. This is it. The main computer. Look at me. I'm a cat. I'm just like... Uh, uh, scritches? According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of these systems online. Computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. So... Alright. 
taking care of business. Here we go. It worked. Good job. <laughs> I've, I've found it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. No, I need to sacrifice myself. Roof. System locked. Accomplish three tasks. Adventure game. There, that's the workstation to open the city. There are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we'll need to do we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines. You destroy some stuff, sure. Tell me what to do, man. What? What, 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 what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, video game? What? Oh, I see, here's one. Sure, okay, I see. Alright. This entire... The, the... Just the sheer engineering architecture of this shit is... It's, it's truly appalling that really this is all it takes to break a lockdown protocol. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, that's like, that's like Facebook-style quality engineering right there, man. <laughs> you guys remember when Facebook just, like, fucking went down? Because, like, someone, like, uh, ate a hole through a lock or something, and then... Press the hack button. Snake? Snake! The, 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 the system is taking more than I expected. Beep, boop, beep. Control room. I know exactly you guys. I know what that fucking means. Huh? Oh, I didn't hack each one. No, oh, snake. Ah, XD, XD, XD. <laughs> Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. It's gonna be just me. Callous cat, only one that lives. I think, c c I think it's little body's done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Come here. Rup. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. With security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer, and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I really just think that you should go be a cat. Here, let me take that off you. Ow. You are my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you.
That's really fucking sad. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we caused a giant mess. that only the monsters living underneath the beds are still alive. Sentinels are dead, but, you know. You know what? Can we just have a happy ending where, like, B12 just comes to? That's pretty sick, dude. Can I can I even get out of here? Albatross says, okay, now gl go blow up Megaton. What was that supposed to mean? Open it back up again. I mean... I had to close and reopen it because it, uh...
Cat rig, Passion Republic, hell yeah. There's probably a true ending if you've got all the memories. I, I, I actually w am overall not a particularly big fan of the ending. What do I what do I even think about this game? Production babies. Oh. Oh my god, two cats died during the production of this. Jesus. Rip. Yeah, I think that I, I, I feel a, a very bizarre collection of things about this game, because I think that each sequence was pretty spectacular, it was pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty, um, like, like the individual sequences were just really, really, really well done. Um, taken in, in unison, I feel like I, it was very jarring. I think jarring is maybe the biggest takeaway feeling. Those credit sequence so I get to see my cats reunited because here's the thing again the game established this like story question which is will I get back with my cats and what's weird to me is it is not that the answer was no or yes or we don't know the answer is fuck the three cats at the start they don't matter <laughs> So it's weird. So it's weird. Like if you if you said Sean, give it like a rating. I, like I have a really hard time with it because again, I think that each the presentation is just a ten, it's just an A plus, just a spectacular presentation. Um, a lot of the individual sequences were tens, but all taken together. Huh. I think I'll actually probably need a story not so good. Well, it there, there wasn't really a story. It felt like the story was, here is a person who's been trying to do something. You intersect with them briefly, here's a completely different person who's been trying to do something. You intersect with them briefly, here's another person who's been trying to do something. You intersect with them briefly, and there's this B12 person who's basically like, let's go outside. And so there was this idea of we need to go outside, but like, for instance, in the, in the slu there's this building momentum and oh my gosh, what's happening with the Zerk, these mysterious bugs. And then at some point the game's like, fuck them, we're in Midtown. <laughs> There's the, like the, the Nurks or whatever they're called. These are bad people. And these people seem to be oppressing these upper tier Midtown robo people. Anyways, we're outside now. You know, it, it felt kind of like just dipping through and getting some information. There was no progress or motion or really relevance to any of the decisions we I mean, I truly would say that it did not have a story. Um, and who who really are the robots? And when I say like who are the robots, I mean like 
these are questions that get posed. I, I don't know. I, just, I felt like I got no answers to anything, and the sequences didn't really story-wise fit into each other. And so, because the story was, it, it kind of was like a bunch of d disconnected story bits that didn't even have, that didn't really have a unification component to them. Um, didn't have a lot of answering. Deadly Foxes, it seemed like a large amount of high-level world building, but not a ton of ground-level story. Well, I don't mind if a world has, if, if there's world building plus internal logic that you get to become, you, you get to connect to. Like, for instance, imagine a post-apocalyptic role-playing game, not Fallout, but like, imagine that kind of world where you are just traveling around, scavenging, trying to stay alive, and you're meeting interesting elements in there. I had this kind of feeling when I was playing, uh, actually just, frankly, the original Fallout 1, ignoring the story. It was just interesting that, oh, Junk Town is made out of junk. The hub is the biggest economic region in the city. Oh, there's like, you know, the, <laughs> there's a bunch of people that live on an oil derrick. Like that, like there's just little things that are just like interesting, interesting. Little tidbits that connect together. It was like, there is a collection of metal eating insects. Anyways, there's a uh, uh, NERC police that are in charge. They don't actually feel like connected to each other. It doesn't feel like there's an internal logic that's being presented. And why are there a bunch of eyes? Great, visual, juicy, like, wow, there's all these eyes that are looking. But there's a difference between, like, when I play inside and it feels like, what the fuck just happened? And it feels like, it feels very much so like there is a story and a world and a logic that's there. And I need to think a little bit. With Limbo, there was an internal story and a logic there. I just need to start thinking and observing, and you could feel it. Th this felt very jarring. Just like, here's something, and here's another thing. Like, if all of a sudden we fought an octopus, I, would, I wouldn't I would go, well, that octopus was really out of place in this game. You know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, sure, sure. So it's another thing on there. So I don't know. I, I, I actually... Um, I'm not entirely sure how I feel. Because, I mean, like, there, there's... You know, games like um, uh, Godfall that I gave a zero. Magic Legends that I think I gave like a one or a two. I would obviously not put this anywhere like that. It's not like this was a bad game. I really wanted to keep playing. I was... Today was like, honestly, went by very, 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 very quickly. The game was just odd. I almost want to, like... <laughs> you ever been on a date with someone that you really click with, but they say, like, a few really mean things to you? And so your brain's just like, oh, we really clicked, but man, I don't think I like being spoken to that way at all. But huh. You know, versus someone that you just, like, didn't connect with who was fine. I'm going to stew on it. I'm going to stew on it a little bit. I, I think, again, I'd rate so much of it very, very highly. Like, the sound, the art, the way that they did the platforming and constructed many of the sequences, I think it was brilliant. I think it was just absolutely brilliant. Um, but I think, I think I will end with this. I much rather play games like this than the 150th generic shooter where you have a pistol and a rifle and a shotgun. And there's some cool action and there's waist-high cover, you know. I mean, shit. This is exactly the kind of game I want to play. The fact that I have a sort of unclear internal reaction... I don't give a shit about. This is fucking sweet. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, he's my little friend. Well, let's end with me and my little friend. This is Sheriff. She's one of my best mates. Come on. She's one of my buddies. Yeah, oh, there we go.
get in there. She really likes to just push her head against my head, and she grooms me a little bit. And she looks around. want to snug there or do you want to go all the way up yeah yeah just rub there that's yeah well she pushes as hard as she can isn't this nice ow Good night.